Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kendall. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant with our first baby and today I'm going to show you guys what I've packed in my hospital bag. When I was early on in my pregnancy, I watched so many hospital bag videos, which is honestly where I got most of the inspiration to bring these items to the hospital. So these type of videos definitely helped me. So I'm kind of hoping to do the same um, to other moms or moms to be in knowing what to pack when you go to the hospitals. I've had this video on my list for a while to make and woke up this morning and realized I'm 37 weeks pregnant. I could literally go into labor pretty much at any time. While I've had this bag sort of just sitting in the nursery, um, mostly packed for the past few weeks, I figured it was about time to truly finish packing the bag and make sure that we have everything we need so that if I do start showing signs of labor, we are good to go for the hospitals. I'm really excited to share all of these items with you guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Also, just a little warning. If I'm out of breath during this video, I'm so sorry. I'm constantly out of breath these days and when I talk a lot, it gets even worse. So I'm so sorry for like the heavy breathing. So when I started making the packing list for my hospital bag, I kind of broke it down into three categories. So things that I'm packing for me, for mom, things that I'm packing for Jordan, AKA dad, and things that I'm packing for baby. You lay down, baby. You're sweet, but I'm making a video. Alrighty, so the first thing on my list is a robe. So I don't have like a, my own delivery gown that I purchased. I just plan on wearing like the gown that the hospital gives you for actual delivery, but I did purchase a robe. Um, I just got a black one. Actually, a lot of the items in my hospital bag are black. I don't know why, I just kind of thought, you know, things may get messy, things may get bloody, we don't know. So um, I kind of just wanted to have like black um, and I feel good in black, wearing black anyways. So this is from Amazon and I will obviously put links to everything in the description box um, and I'll try to put like a photo of what it looks like on the screen as well. The robe that I got from Amazon is called the Vintatre Woman Kimono Robe. So it is a bit of a longer robe. Let's see, I got it in a size large and I would say it's definitely like true to size if not a little oversized. Um, and it's definitely pretty long. The thing that I like about it that kind of convinced me to get it was the fact that the, sh the tie is like sewn onto the back so you can't the tie can't become disconnected from the robe, which um, I feel like that always happens to me with my robes and it's really annoying. So super soft, great material. I have a feeling that after I give birth, I'm gonna want only like the softest things touching me. Um, and then for clothing for me, I decided to bring like two comfy outfits and then a going home outfit. The first outfit that I have is Surprise, surprise, another something black. This is a gown. It's like a nursing gown. These are actual like functional buttons here, um, which would be good for breastfeeding. So this is just if I feel like not being in the hospital robe after delivery when we're, when we're in recovery. Um, it's just a little short sleeve black nursing type gown. And just in case I wanted something that wasn't a dress, I picked up this cute little set from Target. I absolutely love this brand. This is the um, Stars Above brand. If you've ever tried their stuff, it's so soft. But I just got this little, um, also with functional buttons, little shirt, pajama shirt, um, a matching set of little shorts. So I figured in case I'm really hot, that would be a good option to have. Um, so those are kind of like the two outfits that I have for myself if we do have to spend multiple days in the hospital. 
um, if I end up having a c-section or just if I feel like being in my own clothes and not in the hospital gown that those are the two options that I have to wear and then last thing is my going home outfit um, so this is what I plan on leaving the hospital in definitely um, wanted something loose fitting comfortable so again I just got this little set, this is like an oversized t-shirt. This set is from Pink Blush Maternity. The pants are just like, basically like sweatpants, except they're jogger style. So they're like cuffed at the bottom and a little cuter for like actually being outdoors and like leaving the hospital. So I got an XL in both of those. Okay, and then the next clothing item for me that I'm bringing is some nursing bras. So. I'm bringing a few different types. I don't even know if I'll need all of these nursing bras. I have a feeling that I might just be like naked in the hospital, but wanted to have some options just in case. These nursing bras are all from Target. Um, this is the first style that I'm bringing. This is like a cream color and this is from the Auden brand. I got an XL. This is like just like a pullover type nursing bra. I bought a few of these actually, I bought like six of them and I've been wearing them just in daily life to like make sure they fit okay um, and I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable and then I'm also bringing them in a black as well just to have some options. I am bringing one of the unclip ones just um, you know for options so it just unclips like that from the top. This is also the Auden brand and also in an XL. I have three nursing bras. Like I said, probably not even gonna need that many nursing bras, but just to be safe, depending on how long we're in the hospital, um, and if I want to feel like I can be covered, then I have that option. Alrighty, next is a pair of slippers. So just have these little like crisscross fluffy ones from Amazon. I did order a pair that has like a hard sole bottom. They're gonna be like non-slip. So went ahead and got a cute little black pair of fluffy slippers. Just one pair of these fuzzy um, grippy socks. These are also from Amazon. They have the grips on the bottom, which I've heard is nice to have in the hospital. So I'm just bringing one pair of these. I don't really like wearing socks, um, but just in case my feet do get cold, I'll have these. And then I'm also bringing a pair of slip on shoes. These are the Cushionaire cloud slides. These are also from Amazon. I've tried them on and like walked around the house in them and they're super comfortable. So um, I wanted these just to slip on when I'm actually on my way to the hospital and also um, to maybe wear if I do end up taking a shower at the hospital. They can double as shower shoes because they are like a rubbery material. So also bringing a face mask. Um, I actually it's near my bed right now because I was trying it out, but it's just this face mask from Amazon. Um, I actually... One of my favorite YouTubers, Sierra Schultze, recommended this face mask because you can open your eyes when you're wearing it. So yeah, I'm bringing that as well, just in case we have trouble sleeping. I've heard that nurses and doctors and people are coming in and out of your room constantly, so it is hard to get rest. Um, so I am bringing a sleep mask just because I feel like that will help me. Alrighty, and then also for me, um, I'm gonna be bringing <laughs> Mia, which, this is just like a, not a necessity for me. This is just like a water additive to make your water taste flavored, but I I use this like every single time I drink water. So I had to bring one of these to the hospital. And then we're also gonna be bringing some snacks, which I haven't packed yet, um, but we will acquire some, you know, over the next week or so and just have some snacks like trail mix, granola bars, um, potato chips, whatever we might want in the hospital after delivery if we deliver at a weird time of day and there's not really like the cafeteria open or something like that and we are really hungry because <laughs> obviously you can't eat when you're in labor um i'm assuming i'm going to be pretty hungry afterwards so if we don't have the option to go get food just having snacks as a backup i am also bringing a blanket for myself so this is kind of just like a twin size comfy gray blanket. Um, I am a blanket girl, so I know I'm probably gonna want to have like my own 
comfy blanket in the hospital it just helps me sleep and um feel a little bit more cozy so jordan and i will both be bringing a pillow like from our bed which i don't have right here but just we're both gonna bring a pillow because i've heard that's nice to have in the hospital and sometimes the hospital pillows aren't so great um, one more type of pillow that I am going to be bringing is my breastfeeding pillow. I have the Snuggle Me organic one. It's in the closet right now, so I'm not going to get it out, but um, I'll put a picture of it here and a link to it down below. But it um, Next for myself, I'm going to be bringing a water bottle. This is the water bottle that I'm currently using. I absolutely love it. It is a Stanley and it is the kind with the straw that folds down. So this will be really nice for labor and delivery. And it also has a handle. Um, this is 30 ounces. So it holds a good amount of water and it keeps it really cold, um, which I love. So definitely we'll be bringing this to have in the hospital room. Now let's get into toiletries. So this is my toiletry bag that I'll be bringing. It's this little travel size bag. I believe it's from Target. It unzips like this and I'll just go through everything that I have in here. Hair ties, those are a must for labor and delivery. I'm sure I'm going to be wanting to put my hair back if not going in with my hair up from the get-go. So I just brought some like a scrunchie and then two of like the teleties. A little mini hair brush makeup remover wipes just in case I go to the hospital with makeup on depending on what type time of day it is and then obviously this is my first baby I don't know if I'm gonna want to take a shower or have time to take a shower in the hospital but I wanted to be bring my toiletries just in case the option comes up and that's something that I feel like doing CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion and Cetaphil skin cleanser. So this is just like a face wash and a moisturizer. Um, body wash, shampoo and conditioner. A little travel size dry shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo brand, Living Proof, just in case I have really dirty hair in the hospital and don't wanna wash it. Um, I'm bringing some Vaseline. This, um, I've heard your lips get really chapped in delivery. So some Vaseline and also some aquaphor, some deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, that was backwards, <laughs> toothbrush, toothpaste. I'm also gonna bring a little travel size Venus razor. This one's so cute, you guys. It's like a little baby razor and it goes in this little thing. So just in case I feel like shaving, you never know. Better to have something than have needed it and not have it. So and then I'm also bringing some um, nourishing lotion. This is just like lotion for your body. And then I am bringing the Honest um, Rock the Bump body butter, which I've been using throughout my whole pregnancy on my belly. And whoops, some nipple cream butter as well from Honest. These are both from the Honest brand, love these. And that is everything for my toiletry bag. I am gonna throw in my like, weekly um pills or like vitamins that i take every single day like my prenatal and stuff because i still want to have those in the hospital so um but obviously i'm still using those right now so i will throw that in when we're actually packing um for the hospital at the last minute there are obviously some things that i can't pack which i'll get to um that i will have ready to go um and on a list to make sure we don't forget when we are in the moment <laughs> And then a few other random things for myself that I am bringing. The hospital is going to provide most of the postpartum care that I need. Mesh undies, um, hazel witch pads, dermaplast, all of those things I have um, at home to use when I get home and I'm in recovery. Um, the only really like postpartum thing that I'm bringing for myself is diapers just because I've heard that the mesh undies at the hospital aren't the best thing ever. So you just have these Depends, um, very lovely pink diapers for myself, just in case I feel more comfortable using those. I am bringing some regular underwear for myself as well. I have these high-waisted, just black um, underwear that I got off of Amazon. I have my pediatrician information and my birth plan just in a note on my phone. My pediatrician that we've chosen written down their address, phone number, 
and the doctor's names. Um, my pediatrician that we've chosen actually works directly with the hospital that we're delivering at, so they will see the baby immediately after he's born, which is really nice. And then also my birth plan. So um, just in case you're curious what my birth plan is, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm planning on having a vaginal delivery for pain relief. I'd like an epidural. Um, after the baby is born, skin to skin, immediately after birth, delayed cord clamping if possible. Um, I'll be feeding the baby breast milk only unless medically necessary. And I'd like my husband and I to be present with the baby at all times. So I know they take the baby out of the room sometimes to weigh them um, and you have to request to go with them. So we'll definitely be doing that. And then a few other things are our baby book. So this is a promptly journal um, that my good friend Allison got me off of my registry. And the reason that I'm bringing this is just in case I feel like filling it out if we have time um, during labor because it asks questions about the delivery and everything. Um, and then it also has a spot for um, footprints and handprints. So I definitely wanted to bring this um, so that we can put his footprints and handprints um, in this book. This is like, will be his baby book until he's 18, so. And then this is super random. I don't know if most hospitals do this, but um, during our hospital tour, they did mention to bring like personal checks. Um, so we are bringing personal checks um, for the birth certificate. I guess that's how you have to pay for it. So I have those just tucked away in here just in case. And then the last thing for me that I'll be packing at the last minute is our my wallet and my insurance cards and same for Jordan. Um, okay, so that is everything for me. Now moving on to things that we're packing for Jordan. Um, this list is really short. Like I mentioned, we're bringing um, a pillow from our bed for him. He'll bring his wallet, his ID, um, his AirPods, and then a phone charger and um a change of clothes so a pair of like sweat shorts from old navy literally haven't even taken the tags off them yet they're new um just so he could have them in the hospital bag and then this little zip up it'll be like end of september october so um shorts and just like an athletic style top will be good for him and that's pretty much it i mean if he wants to throw anything else in the bag when we're in the moment and leaving he can but that's everything I have written down for him. And we are bringing a few electronics that I will pack um, towards the end or in the moment when we're in labor. So for those, I have an extra long phone charger, um, a blu our Bluetooth speaker, just in case we wanna play music. I'm gonna bring my vlogging camera, obviously, my tripod, spare batteries, and a charger for the camera, and then my AirPods and I have this extra like portable sound machine. This, oh no, this is a dome sound machine. We use this sound machine every night in our bedroom. This is an extra one, so we'll be bringing that um, just because we are super used to sleeping with white noise. And then last thing I'll be bringing is a handheld fan. It's technically for the stroller, but I'm gonna bring it in the hospital to have just in case I get hot. And then last but definitely not least, everything that I'm bringing for baby. So things I have on the list for the baby are his car seat and the base. Obviously this will already be installed in the car. We will grab the car seat um, on the way in. We aren't currently driving around with the car seat in our cars. Just in case we get in an accident, you have to replace your entire car seat. So we're waiting a little while to actually put the car seat into the car. Um, but we will have the base installed in there and ready to go. I have a little blanket for the baby. This is just a little blanket from Serenoni. This little navy blue one. It's so soft and so cute. I absolutely love it. And then for his going home outfits or outfits in general, I'm keeping it really simple, you guys. Um, this is gonna be his going home outfit. I'm bringing a newborn size and a zero to three month size, but this is just a little like oatmeal colored um, onesie from Kite Baby. Kite Baby onesies are the best. They have 
the little mittens and it's like just a zipper super simple um, I'm gonna bring it in zero to three months as well just in case he doesn't fit into newborn for some reason but those are the only two outfits I'm bringing for him maybe I'll throw in a third if I'm feeling like being an extra overpacker um, and then I also have a little matching hat and then I have this little white hat that has his name written on the front. My mom got me this and we haven't announced his name yet officially, so I won't show you that, but just in case we wanna take a picture with his name on his hat, we'll have that. And then I am gonna be bringing the diaper bag. I have the um, Dagny Dover um, diaper bag, which is so nice. And I'll have like some things packed in there for him, like diapers, pacifiers, um, just like what you would have in your diaper bag. We're just gonna bring it just to have it um, in the car in case we need anything in there for him. And then last but not least, a swaddle, which you know the hospital will have swaddles, but we'll bring one just in case. And yeah, that is pretty much it for my hospital bag video. That's everything that I'm packing. Oh, I did forget to mention, I'm bringing just a suitcase, like a travel size suitcase to put everything in. I think that would just be the easiest to like get into the car in the moment and like roll into the hospital with, maybe I can even put the baby stuff like in the diaper bag. Um, that's actually a really good idea. I'll probably do that and then have mine and Jordan's stuff in the suitcase. But yes, it's just like a travel size, carry on size suit rolling suitcase. All right, you guys, that is pretty much it for my hospital bag video. Um, if you feel like I missed anything, if there's anything that you swore by having in the hospital, um, please leave it in the comments down below. I would love to read it, um, and hear about it. I feel like it would be a good, um, place to have moms be able to read about, what works for you and what you felt like you didn't need. And then in the future, um, you know, after baby is here, I'll definitely do a video of what I actually used in the hospital and what wasn't really necessary. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, baby boy is going to be here so soon. I had an ultrasound yesterday and he's measuring six pounds, 11 ounces. He's in the 50th percentile and he is almost full term pretty much so we're really excited he could literally come any day so i'm glad that i finally have everything packed in this hospital bag and ready to go for us to scoot on out the door and go deliver this sweet baby boy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye